Algebras, bonus time. So let's talk about what's actually happening graphically when we have real factors versus imaginary factors. So I have Desmos pulled up here. I have all of our equations or expressions um, typed in. So let's see what happens graphically. So remember that first one that we did, x squared plus 4. We had imaginary factors. So what does that mean for the graph? Well, let's look. So what do we notice about this graph? It's opening upwards. Uh, the vertex looks like it's at 4, which would make sense from what our equation is. But the big thing that we see, remember when we factor, we said that we are finding the zeros. And the zeros are the solutions. And the zeros in the solutions also represent what values? The x values, the x-intercepts. And notice that we had imaginary factors and our graph does not cross the x-axis. So that means our solutions are up in the air. There's no concrete solution meaning there's no place in time that our graph crosses the x-axis. So let's look at the second one that we did that has real factors. They're funky looking, but they're real. That graph crosses the x-axis twice, meaning that we have two real solutions. Our factors are real numbers, and we have real number solutions. They're probably some crazy decimal, yeah, but they're real. We have two concrete points where that graph has a solution. So I'm going to give away a few things here, but you still have to go through the process of factoring because I don't want decimal answers. Let's see what the second equation or expression from our book would do. Crosses the x-axis twice. Do you think it's going to be a real factor or an imaginary factor? You have to decide. Go use the quadratic formula and find out. Let's take a look at the next one. The graph does not have an x-intercept. So is that equ expression going to have real factors or imaginary factors? Does it have a concrete solution? Let's check out the next one. This graph crosses our x-axis at two points. So is this expression going to have real factors or are they going to have imaginary factors? Use the quadratic formula to find out. Second to last one. Notice how the graph flipped. Now we're pointing down. That's because of that negative value on the x squared. It flips the graph. But our graph crosses the x-axis at two points. So is this graph going to have real factors or real solutions, or is it going to have imaginary factors or imaginary solutions? Hopefully you're making the right guesses as you go, but to confirm your guesses, use the quadratic formula to find out. And the last one. Oh, we're going to have to move our graph. It's way down here. Notice again, it's flipped. It's pointing down. Again, that's because of the negative on the x squared. But our x axis is way up here. It's never going to cross it. So does this expression have real factors or imaginary factors? Use the quadratic formula to, to confirm your guess. And thanks for listening on another episode of Math is Awesome. Now let's look at all of them just because it's going to be crazy. Woo! All right. Happy mathing.